Howdy, partner, and yee-haw, because I watched my first Western from the 501 Must See Movies book, and it was Brokeback Mountain. It's true, I confess, I haven't seen a lot of Western movies in the past. Uh, the closest I've come to a Western is watching The Dead Seven, which is a zombie Western movie that stars some of the Backstreet Boys and other boy band alumni like O-Town. The thing is, I'm not 100% sure this was categorized properly as a Western movie, but it was from the Western section, and I said I would watch one from the Western section, so technically I didn't break my promise. This is a cheapo hat that I got when I was riding a horse uh, when we went for my birthday just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. So I decided to wear it for this film, and <laughs> just an homage of the Cowboys, and let's see what the book has to say. So, in an isolated Wyoming mountain range, a strong bond develops between Ennis, who's played by Heath Ledger, and Jack, who's played by Jake Gyllenhaal. The two ranch hands are hired to tend sheep. After parting ways at the end of the season, they each begin to understand their feelings a little better and eventually reunite and begin a long, a long love affair that lasts one way or another for 19 years. Director Ang Lee has never stuck to a specific genre or even style since making his breakthrough with the 1994 romantic comedy Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. So it actually did win three Academy Awards. Uh, so it was Best Director, Best Achievement in Music, and Best Writing for an Adapted Screenplay. And also starring in this movie with Jake and Heath are Michelle Williams, Anne Hathaway, and Randy Quaid. I actually had never seen this movie prior to watching it for this book and for this series and I'm really happy that I did. It was one of the movies that I always wanted to watch. I don't know why I never did. I do remember it coming out in 2005. Uh, I don't remember why I didn't see it. I don't particularly, I'm not a huge fan of the two main actors. But, uh, and I do remember a lot of people talking about the controversy of it being uh, a gay couple, but I don't. I don't have a problem with that, so that would that's not the reason why I never watched it. Um, I, I just, for some reason, it just fell off my radar. And I'm really sad that it did, because it's a beautiful story. I was blown away by the acting of these two guys. Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal both do amazing jobs. It's set in Wyoming, or it starts in Wyoming in 1963, and, you know, I... Because I haven't really gone through it, I never really thought about how difficult it must have been to be a homosexual at that time. You can really, really see the struggle that Heath Ledger goes through. You can see how much he loves Jake Gyllenhaal's character. You can see how ashamed he is of being gay. You can see the fear he has that people will find out that he's gay. And it's there's so many layers in this performance. I can't believe that he didn't win the Oscar for it. Jake Gyllenhaal was also nominated for an Oscar for this film, which, I mean, it's the only Oscar nomination he's ever had, and it's really shocking. He's an amazing actor. I can't believe he hasn't been nominated for any other roles, and it's just, it blows my mind that neither of them won. They did an amazing. Something that really stuck out to me in the story of this movie is how long Michelle Williams' character stays with Heath Ledger after finding out about the love affair with Jake Gyllenhaal. If I'm following the timeline correctly, it was eight years before she finally divorced him, which I think speaks volumes to the time. There couldn't have been a reason for her to stay, I think, aside from the fact that she didn't want to be on her own. Um, it was a time when it would have been very hard for an, an independent single mother to live on her own. So to stay in a marriage, just knowing what was going on, knowing that there wasn't really the love and trust there, or the love and trust that she thought was there, that's, eight years is a long time to put up with that. Uh, it's just, just another layer in the story that I thought was really interesting. Um, <laughs> my favorite, favorite part is when Lorene's dad is fighting with Jake Gyllenhaal over whether or not the football game is going to be on during dinner or not, and Jake Gyllenhaal gives him the what for. This is my house. This is my son. Sit your ass down. It's, it's a great scene. I love it. Just a little comedic break that, that we needed at that time in the film. 
Silly me. Growing up watching movies where everyone ends up together, I really thought this one was going to have a happy ending too. Heath does a great job of expressing his fear, and we do find out that Ennis, as a character, when he was a little boy, was shown a hate crime by his father, um, which is really the driving root of his fear. Um, I also really, really felt the struggle that Jack had, or Jake Gyllenhaal playing Jack, when he was in love with someone, he wanted to spend his life with him, he wanted to build life with him. He was in a relationship for 19 years that couldn't move forward because of Ennis's fear and because of what had happened in Ennis's past. And the moment I thought they were going to get together is the moment that we find out that Jack dies and how he died. And I'm sorry, it's, it's just really sad. I don't like when people don't end up together. I don't like that this is a real thing that probably, like, the story itself isn't a true story, but things like this did really happen in the past, and I'm really sad that it took me this long to see this movie. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend you see it. It shows a great story of love. It shows a great snapshot and idea of what it was like to be a homosexual in the 60s and 70s and how hard it was. and. It was really emotional, it made me cry, and there's probably a lot more movies in this book that are going to make me cry. So, uh, if you do like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and um, next week as I mentioned we're going to be doing When Harry Met Sally.